Excuse me. Why are you out? Talking about me. What am I talking about? What you did to my friend and your ass is out here running these streets? Shit ain't so funny now, is it? Joke's on you, it's called bail, bitch. I got your bitch right here, little Hey, boss. What you're not gonna do is talk to my friend like that. That's okay, Danny. I got it. Don't you fucking touch my get friend. Get this drunk bitch out of my club. You are the lowest oh, type of huh? You are the lowest type of Yo. She bothering you? Yeah, make it out of my face. Excuse me, little Sammy. You know I got you, but give me a second. Get this you, one. nah, listen. You, you the type of man that wants to beat up on gay men. Because you don't feel like a man, right? You the lowest type of Yo, man, get this bitch out of my clothes. You hurt my friend. He is a good person. Sabrina, come on, man, come on. Do you know what happened to Hi, happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome to another episode of On The Scene. We have a, this is a very, very special interview. Um, we weren't going to start till next month, but this, this was one interview that I could not pass by. Tonight, we have a special guest. The <laughs> Chicago's own actor, director, producer, writer, model, Ty Edwards. Thank and you. I also have my girl, the dope actress, Chicago's finest. Reese Eglin. What's hey. up, y'all? Hey. hey. Welcome to On the Scene, Ty. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to have you. Long time. And thanks for having me back. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, Ty, um, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. I agree. So, let me tell you guys, um, Ty is from Chicago. And I fell in love with Ty on Tyler Perry's Sisters. Okay. Um, <laughs> a very dope role, by the way. Um, it, was, it was a deep role. Tell, tell everybody a little bit about that. Is that what you opened up with? Yes! Oh, God. All right. Um, first of all, big shout out to Tyler Perry. Great opportunity. Um, especially being from the Southeast side. You know, you never really see yourself on a show like that but uh <clears throat> that was probably one of the hardest jobs of my career because of the nature of yes. that particular role yeah. got a lot of flack for that role for those of you guys who don't know i play alonzo crawford on the number one tv show sisters and alonzo had a run-in with brian who is the gay character on the show so season one i you know i kind of whooped him pretty bad <laughs> And uh, really they bad. tried to cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They tried to cancel me. But um, it was a great experience. I mean, it sucked. But knowing that I was able to do such a good, great job of acting, people thought that I was actually that person. That's me know that I'm just really good at what I do. You, Absolutely. You did. Absolutely. You really... You know, I did take offense to it, you know, in the beginning mm -hmm. because, you know, I mean, it, 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 was, it was a very sensitive deal. People were coming at me yeah. and I would, people would see me in the street, you know, I, I live in L.A., you know, mm -hmm. and, and one of my favorite uh, cigar shops is in West Hollywood or near West Hollywood, mm -hmm. which is primarily the, you know, LGBT capital, you know, okay. that's where everybody hang out. Mm -hmm. And I can just be out just with a f couple of fellas and I had some, uh -oh, like. you, I'm like, hey, hey, you know. <laughs> But, um, uh, you know, um, I think every actor needs to get a role like that to be stretched. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, um, if you're always playing roles that you're familiar with, then you're not acting. Mm -hmm. you know, and I'm far from home before, but I have a lot of gay friends. They love me. I, I lost a lot of gay friends mm -hmm. just from that role because, wow. I mean, unfortunately, in the African-American community, mm -hmm. I mean, it's that's where I got a lot of the backlash from. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I, and, you know, I mean, I, I yeah. yeah. Hard, but wow. here I am. But you, you killed it. Yeah, you killed it, Charles. Yeah. Um, so let's start back. Let's let's backtrack. You're from Chicago. One let's, let's let's start there. Oh wow. Okay. Well, let me kind of give you a quick summary. Born in Chicago, Southeast Side. Mm -hmm. um, I was I, I grew up in Pocket Town. Okay. But I was raised in Terra Town. For those of you guys who know the areas, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, my father. You know, it was a Blackstone Ranger, you know, L. Rookin. Mm -hmm. 
That's what they called them back in the day. Yeah, they did. Running with Jeff Ford, you know, so I was really in it at the time. Mm. Uh, Went to Bryn Mawr, you know, same school Michelle Obama went to. Bryn Mawr. uh, My mother is actually in the studio who happened to be my fifth grade teacher, and she was the assistant. She left, uh, retired. 22 years, assistant principal mm-hmm. of Bryn Mawr then, but it's now Boucher Academy. Yes, it is. You know, so um, I went to, I went to, um, I was a basketball, you know, um, phenom, you know, uh, highly prospect. So back in the day, we all traveled to play, you know, um, I went to Leo, I went to High Park, I went, mm-hmm. to, I, I was all over the place. Okay. Uh, and then I got shipped off to, to Texas unexpectedly. I mean, um. I grew up in a two-family okay. household, my mom and my father, mm-hmm. and uh, they divorced. And when they kind of divorced, things kind of went separate ways. And at the age of 13, I found myself raised on myself. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> and then it had, had it not been for my best friend at the time, um, who took a liking to me, he kind of took me home and was like, yo, can you help my friend? <laughs> 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 you know, you got a situation here. Uh-huh. And... Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Had it not been for my best friend Chris, okay. who happens to be, it's, it's his birthday this past week. Okay. He don't know I'm in town, so Aww. I came here to surprise him. Aww. And then I said, "Well, let me go ahead and do the interview too, because okay. I, you know, I got to be about this business. I got movies and stuff yeah. I got to put out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so before I turn up, let me just go ahead and knock this out. Okay. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, 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 I'm very Chicago. Yes, you I are. breathe Chicago. I mean, although I live in Hollywood and stuff like that, I'm. I'm and that's one thing I noticed. Like when he makes his post, it's always Chicago this, Chicago that. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I feel him. I'm, I'm born and raised Chicago. Um, parents started West Side. Mm-hmm. Mom wound up South Side. Dad West Side. Mm-hmm. Similar same yeah. situation, yeah. but ride or die. I mean, and my mother moved to the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> When I had my son, uh-huh. I was back in the sh- <laughs> I was back in Chicago. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, precious memories mm-hmm. um, through the good, through the bad. Uh, so yeah, it's welcome home, oh, baby. Exactly. <laughs> welcome <laughs> home. So how did you um, get into acting? I started off as a model. Um, I used to model for some of the hottest fashion lines back in the day when Vibe Magazine, I'm not mm-hmm. going to reveal my age, but yeah. <laughs> you know Vibe Magazine, you're yes. pretty up there, you know, but, uh, Carl Kanai, FUBU, Sean John, Kenneth mm-hmm. Cole, mm-hmm. Uh, Banana Republic later, mm-hmm. and then I happened to be on uh, a set and someone asked me, uh, have you ever... I mean, just the, the cliche thing like, right. that happened to me, okay. and at the time I was just there to be eye candy. Okay. And I was, he was like, say this line. And I said the line, and instantaneously I was like hooked. I was like, Yo, I, I can do this. You know, and then one thing led to another, and here it is now, 27 years later. Okay. Awesome. Uh, NAACP Image Award nominee. There you I go. know. You know. So, how long did you model before you got into acting? Uh, I'd probably say I'm, uh, from two. From 1997 to probably, let's say about 2000, 2001. Okay. Okay. Heavy, okay. It, you know, and then after that it was kind of sporadic because I was kind of, okay. yeah, I was all over the place. Okay, so then when, how did the acting bug bite? Uh, Walk with Texas Ranger. That was my first big TV show. Okay. And, you know, and I was fortunate my very, very first job to be on one of the biggest things in Texas at the time. Mm-hmm. So uh, it just went from, you know, uh, extra. And yeah. I went from extra, exactly. extra. Exactly. And then, you know, exactly. they called me about four or five times. <laughs> the next time, they're like, hey, we got a line for you. Yeah. And then after that, it just kind of snowballed into other things. And then next thing I know, I think my, my, my first feature was with Mia Peoples. Okay. Another old name. Mm-hmm. Mia Peoples. Uh, it was called The Rift. Okay. And, you know, I was like... What you call it, maybe uh, the highest paid background guy, okay. you know, at the time. What, what was it? Um, what they call it? Feature? Feature. Oh, okay. feature background. <laughs> right. The feature, Just feature me. background. Our backgrounds right. are, that's it's exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah this, is, this is how we start. Yeah, we love to it. So I was the feature background guy, you know, I mean, I, I got more camera time than all the other background mm-hmm. 
and then it was just a progressive thing and then a lot of it was just you know every set it, it's, it's 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 a network you start meeting yes. people you know yes. and people start and then and everything i mean and then here it is it's like 27 you know 27 years later and i'm, and I'm here okay. so i tell people all the time networking is key yeah you got to talk you know, closed mouths don't get fed. I don't oh. care if you're in Chicago and definitely in Hollywood. They're going to look at you crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Real talk. I, I've been there. I mean, seriously. Yeah. But now, okay. You done with the Chicago stories? Yeah. Go okay. Go My man. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> the ice cream yeah. stop. Yeah. Shout out to my man. Marcel Baber on that. That's the creator of the ice cream stop. Hell of a guy, man. Had it not been for him just bringing it to his cousin, who was the director of Perez, mm-hmm. uh, none of us would be where we are right now. Um, he came with an idea. Actually, he said that he had a dream. Mm-hmm. And he woke up and just put it in an outline form. Uh, and mind you, Marcel, he's, he, he's not even in the business. You know, he's a football coach, works at a school, community, wow. big community mm-hmm. figure, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, father, you know, I mean, just all these things, but Hollywood, mm-hmm. um, used to be a former rapper. So oh, he makes really? sense about his word about, you know, about his pen, okay. but, um, he came to uh, Raul with the project and I had been knowing Raul quite some time, I think maybe close to 11 years at the time. Okay. And he called me up just out of the blue after, you know, a few projects that we had tried to get off years prior and never took off. Mm-hmm. He said, look, man, I think I got something. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we collectively just kind of sat down, put our heads together, swapped ideas. And six months later, we had a solid script. Oh. We shot it in three or four days. And the rest is history. Well, if you guys, let me tell you something. When you see this film, it's everything, okay? It's, it'll make you cry. It'll make you smile. Yeah, it yeah. would piss you off, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what I loved about it, how the story started off with you and your lovely wife, right, right. Uh, McCullough, right? Right, right. I, I thought that was so beautiful, yeah. you know, because... Again, as you stated before previously mm-hmm. with Mara and your other guest host, um, we don't see that a lot. Right. Okay, we don't see enough black love. Yeah. All right. And yes. me and, and real talk, I'm from parents that was divorced. Mm-hmm. But Me too. There was there was some black love there. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. In in the respect. So everything you and Macola did. I mean, I got goosebumps <laughs> right now because it was so, it was beautiful. Right. It was so sensitive. Right. And it was something good to see. Yes, yes, yes. You know, because we hear so much, and unfortunately, we don't know how to respect one another, treat one another. Right. Um, right. Yes, that black woman is the queen, right. black man is the king. Right. And that's how I felt in the beginning. Yes. And. As the story was going on, I said, Surgeon, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, okay. When, um, when Marty uh, brought it, and when, as we were putting it all together, it was very important that we touch on it. We dropped a lot of hidden jewels. Right? Yeah. Yes, you did. And, yes, the and, first like thing, and the first thing was the black love yeah. yes. component. You know, because we're in the time of Kevin Samuels. You know what I mean? Yeah. Women don't, you know, we don't need a man. Right. Man, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> you, know, you know, and we wanted to bring back that, you know, that um that 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 closeness again, you yes. know, my queen. She she looked at him with reverence. Oh, yes, she it, did. It, 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 it was some admiration, yes. it was respect, it was real love there. And you know, and, and you felt that connection all the way up until you didn't. Yes, yes. And that's when they were so connected. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Oh so yeah, I mean, shout out to you know um, uh, Marcel and and Raul. Man. Outstanding I mean, we, job. Yeah, we, we really did that, it and it came across. Oh my beautiful. goodness! Now, as the story was going on, again, something you touched on. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot that we don't expect. You're going to get ice cream. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but because of certain situations of the color of our skin, it's always an assumption yeah. of who we are. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm from the hood, too. Mm-hmm. So I've seen situations like that. Mm-hmm. I've lived situations mm-hmm. like that. Um, but only thing I can say is, 
Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. It, it, it was just, it was time. It was on time. Yes. It, 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 yeah. It's needed. It was right. on time. And I want everybody out there, oh, please, Don't you got to check my yeah. boy out. Yeah. Go see it. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. Take your kids. Absolutely. Okay. Take your husbands. Take your sons. Yes. Yes. Your mothers. But this is a must see. It is. Yes. Okay. It so. Is. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Um, we have a couple people um, that's going to ask you some questions on oh, okay. that are tuning in live. Let's and do it. We have some people in the audience that have a couple questions. Introduce yourself. Shice Love, Chicago Southeast. Hey, what's up, brother? Yes, yes. All right, so uh, you, ready? Uh, you answered my first question, which is Terra Town. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was born and raised uh, 71st Blackstone. So okay. That's yeah. Okay. Walking distance. Um, cigar shop in North Hollywood. What's your favorite cigar? I hardly buy any cigars at the humidor anymore. I get a, a lot of them just rolled for me. Mm. I like Nicaraguan seed and wrap. Mm. You know, but if I have to go ahead and buy something, I like Avo. I like Patel's. I like... Um, uh, What's another one? That's pretty much the two, but everything that I usually smoke is is handmade for me. Come on, man. No, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just started getting into it, so I was like, let me kind of Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's an acquired taste. It's like wine. You got to yeah. work your way up. You know, exactly. the darker the wrapper, the more robust, you know. So, again, um, if, if, if you're just starting, uh, Acid is a good brand. You know, they got the sweet, and then they work their way up. Uh, ACID. ACID. Acid is a good brand. Um, I would start there because you can kind of graduate. You know. For the love of Jason season two. In the trailer it says the players have changed but the game remains the same. Can you elaborate? Are you familiar with season one at all? To be honest, I'm not. Um, okay. Yeah, I well, I mean, uh, pretty much um, shout out the trail. Uh, Woodbury, he's the writer and the star, Jason. But uh, that whole series is pretty much relationships from a male's perspective, something that you don't get to see a lot. Mm. You know, uh, you know, and how men look at relationships and how we handle things. Um, I come in this season. Jack A. Harry is the mother of of, of Trail, <laughs> and we all. I mean, if you if you if you were you know grew up when I grew up, Jack A. Harry two two seven was like hot. That was like yeah. they almost from good times, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm I'm her young, hot love interest, and Jason uh -oh. is having a hard time dealing with the fact that his mother is dealing with an older, man, I mean, a, a, a younger man or a man his his age. Oh, okay. You know, so the dynamic in that is going to be pretty interesting to kind of see how that plays out. But I'm not going to tell you; you got to watch it. Based off of that, would have you or would you date an older? Right. Actually, actually, my whole entire life, even when I when I was a young man, I was into older women. I didn't want anybody my age, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm sorry. Hey, look, my mom, my, my mom is here like, my mom is over here looking at me like, <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. I'm almost fifty now. <laughs> For any up and coming artists, mm -hmm. actors, actresses, mm -hmm. what advice would you give? Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Know the market. Know your market. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's important. A lot of people try to, whether you want to believe it or not, there is a type. Yes. There is a market. Yes. You know, you got to know whether or not you're leading man material. You mm -hmm. can work your way. You can prove that. Mm -hmm. But uh, you just have to know and be specific about what it is you're going after it. Take care of your, you know, take care of your body, take care of your skin, take care of your, you know, your hair. I mean, your physicality is your business card, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, um, for the most part, when it comes to the craft, know what you're doing. Yeah, you know, absolutely. come prepared to work. When you go to auditions, uh, my main goal is you're not going to book every audition that you go on. Uh, you at least want to make a good impression. Absolutely. You know? um, absolutely. I, I go for the callback. You know, you want the call back. Pretty much, if you get a call back, you kind of did your job. Yeah. Because, you know, you gave them something to think about. You know what I'm saying? I need to see him again to see if if, if that's what I need. You know what I'm saying? Just just really be, the, be prepared. 
show up, do the job, and leave whatever you did in that room on the floor. There we go. You know, because a lot of times, you know, we would go like, man, yep. I, uh, uh, it's over with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at, at the end of the day, don't give up. And if you don't believe in you, no one else will. And that's right. Good advice. Yeah. Absolutely. You have a question? I have one more. Oh, no. Go. Right okay. I, I have my question. Give he asked some questions. <laughs> <laughs> give me your top five, dead or alive, okay. actors that you would want to work with. I almost, I almost, went, I almost did it. Cicely Tyson, as you know, oh, I, you know Tyler yes. Perry, and I just made the wall. You know, uh, that 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 was money, man. You know, uh, he has this wall in the Dream Building where all of his productions, all of his mm. cast, and wow. my character. Yeah, so I'm on that wall. You know, Tyler Tiger has been immortalized on that wall forever. Oh, Good job, Tyler. Anywho, uh, Cicely Tyson. Uh, Definitely. Uh, living Viola Davis. I yes. got to get it in with Viola. Uh, of course, I want to work with Denzel. I almost I almost worked with Denzel. Um, I auditioned for um, the that movie where he played the attorney. God. Um, yeah. Ro- yeah. 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 So, um, Vicki Thomas, who is a huge casting director, who, mm-hmm. who she always called me. She, uh, she called me for uh, Straight Outta Compton. Uh, I was supposed to play Suge Knight. She oh, called me on that one. Yeah, I mean, wow. yeah. Uh, who else? I would uh, also probably, I mean, Mel. Um, I would probably want to get it in with, um, I got to go ahead and say The Rock. Okay. You know, I get a lot of comparisons with him, so yeah. I might as well go yeah. ahead and do it. Uh, I can see uh, that. Yeah, we need to go ahead and link up and knock it out. And um, I've been wanting to work with Vin Diesel for a minute. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I can see that too. Yeah, so yeah. Fast and Furious. I'm on a f- franchise thing right now. Mm-hmm. But as far as the women, I got to get it in with Viola. Viola is just amazing. Yes, yes, she is. That girl go there. Yes. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. All right, what you got, Sharice? Uh, let's see. Well, okay. I got a question for all the ladies. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, so. Married, single, thinking about it, uh, not thinking about it. Are you asking? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah, all, all the beautiful ladies, you know. Uh, I mean, well, my status is divorced. That's my status. Okay. You know what I'm okay. Uh, right now, Hollywood is my is my lady. She yeah. takes okay. a lot okay. of my time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Oh, okay. She takes a lot of my time, you know. Um, uh, right now, I'm in a very, very um, focused state of mind. I got so many things, and I'm 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 one of those type of people where if I can't fully devote myself to whatever that is, mm-hmm. I might as well not do that. Yeah, you absolutely. know what I'm saying? Because somebody's gonna end up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, my mom. That's- my mom always told me time is something that you can never get back. So once you that's invest true. it, you know, yeah, invest in wisely and go all out, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, and do it with no regret. So that's how I pretty much approach every situation, whether it's a, a job, a relationship or anything else I go after. No, but, that's very important. You know, um, I'm 40, you know, I'm in my 40s now, you know, mm-hmm. so it's like right now, you know, if if, if the person comes along and we vibe and everything mm-hmm. is right, mm-hmm. you know, who goes to say, but right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm, hey. Hey. I'm doing what I do. What we have to do. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. Well, that's what we have to do. Um, that was my last question. Because I'll go back to the ice cream stop <laughs> in a minute. Again, I really, I, I love it. I, I'm just so pleased. And, and the talent that was yes. involved with this project was phenomenal. Let me go ahead and just give a shout out to my amazing cast. My wife, yes. my wife uh, Nicola Lambeau, Dustin Harnish. Yes. Uh, uh, Paul Logan, uh, Chris, Chris Levine, um, Jed, uh, Jed Dennis, and I'm missing someone else, and Paul Logan, oh, superstar Paul oh Logan. Uh, I called those guys, and I'm, I remember right before we shot, I was so gone when I arrived on set. I was like, listen, you know, the people before us didn't get uh, mm-hmm. a second take. Mm-hmm. I said, I want every time that we do this, want it to be perfect you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. leave nothing to chance That's and they 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 they, they showed up 
you know, wow. they showed up oh, and goodness. and I remember, yes, yes. yeah, I remember when um, when the director called me and Raul was like, "Look, man," he said, "He said no matter how I cut this thing up, man, I, I, I keep feeling the same way about it." But I was like, "That's exactly what I needed yes. to hear," you know what I'm saying? Because yes. it's like it was yes. a win-win. And uh, he did an amazing job editing it and stuff like that. And the finished product just speaks for itself. Well, yeah. you know, one thing you said um, with roles that we play and how people get mad with certain characters yeah. that we do, yeah. or they really, like, ready to jack you up. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If it gets to that point, that means you've done right. your job. Right. Yes. You know. So um, when you said that, I said, "Oh, I feel better now. I'm not the only one <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. Was, <laughs> that got attacked or cussed." Right. 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 <laughs> so, but that is so true. Right. So everyone, when I seen it, I told my girl, I cried. Mm-hmm. I just cried. I I, I was trembling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was mad. Uh, it brought back memories of certain situations, yes, yes. and and I think as I think as black man, I, I don't think it's one black man who hasn't had an experience. Right. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. We, we pretty much just I guess just gave the whole thing a mm-hmm. a, a a a new face. It's, it, it's it's I think what it is is it's an old conversation mm-hmm. just put in a new light. Yes. It's yeah. more relatable and digestible now mm-hmm. the way that we put it together mm-hmm. opposed to this is what's happening and it just always falls on deaf ears. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, everyone, if you have a, a sense of humanity in you, no matter what color you are, Absolutely. you're going to feel some kind of way. Absolutely. Right? And, and it was very important to show uh, us in another light than just being a athlete, mm-hmm. rapper, Absolutely. or something like that. Yeah. These were two affluent African-American, beautiful people. Yes. You know, one is a surgeon, and the other one is a nurse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, pillars of that community, really, yeah. really doing some things. Right. And, and also, another gem is, you know, especially on their relationship front, we take so many things for granted, especially mm-hmm. in relationships. Yes. You know, when a man comes home from work, no matter if y'all in the fault and stuff like this, and you, you know, you and your feelings, and he get up and go back out, he loves you. You know, but it's just the small things. And then, you know, sometimes I can make that trip and I may not come back. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So exactly. it was just so many things that, you know, uh, that, that we wanted to relate. And a lot of people got it. Mm-hmm. You know, it, you know, it, it, everyone who's seen it came to me and was like, yo, you know, I look at my husband, through, yeah. you know, with different eyes now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're living in a time where you... You can't take anything for granted. No, you can't. And then I, I'm a much bigger the guy than most, so I get treated a whole lot different. Mm-hmm. I have to really dumb myself down mm-hmm. when I get pulled over. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they are already scared. Right. right. You know. Right. So and and I showed that in the movie. You know, mm-hmm. it was like, you know, and the more that I dumb down, the more aggressive he yes. got. You know, so yes. it's definitely a must see. You guys go see that right now. Uh, it's on the final legs. Uh, we're in the distribution phase, so nice. any day now, you know, we should awesome. be on some nice. streaming network. So, can't wait. pretty, pretty excited. I, I know, that. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. But again, I think it's a uh, an amazing film Thank for the the entire family. Yes, yes. Uh, if you have teenagers, young adults, uh, parents, uh, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Um, in my world, um, everybody deserves to be treated as equal. Yeah. I don't care if you the baddest dope dealer on the street <laughs> or the baddest prostitute on the street. Right. You still earn a certain amount of respect. Right. And that's, I, I, I like that, you yeah. know, from the beginning. And so when all the craziness was happening mm-hmm. and I was sitting at my desk at my computer <laughs> and I went to grab the bottle <laughs> and I'm like, wow. And again, I know a lot of us have been in situations like that or right. seen right. situations right. like that. Right. Um, the one thing I will say in my closing, um, to our brothers, to any man, but mainly the black man, mm-hmm. and what I would like to say to all our sisters, okay, I get it. All right, but they're not perfect, just like we're not perfect. Right. Okay. Um, I heard something in the store. Two sisters, and they call each other, you know how, hey, B, B, this, this. And so I went home. I started thinking. And I said, why is it we have a problem when our brothers, our men call us a bunch of Bs and and, and, and Hs and all this other stuff. But we ain't got a problem 
Yes. If our girl do it. Yes. Why are we, you know, I get the girl thing, mm -hmm. but if we demand that respect from the black man, shouldn't we be doing it with each other as well? Yes. So that's my thing. You know, please see this film. That's all I can say. Please, please, please. It's an eye opener. <laughs> but um, I love my black man. You all are amazing. No, you're not perfect. We're not perfect. Right. But we all children of God. Mm -hmm. I love my black man. I know that's right. Um, before we leave, you are working on another project. Yeah, I'll talk a little yeah, bit about that. I am. Well, actually, uh, shout out to my man, Gio, uh, <coughs> Daniel Giovanni Watson, uh, Bam Erickson. Um, we have a, a, a special project that's being made for TV right now. It's called The West. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to say too much about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say too much about it because a lot of people have been just asking it, and I've been bombarded with you know, with questions. But listen, I'll give you guys the link. You can find it on Instagram, The West, T-H-E-W-E-S-T -E -E underscore I-F-G. Go follow that. And if you're on Facebook, you can follow at the West IFG and you can kind of check it out from there and you know holler at your boy on that but we just finished the final edit on that uh, we're, you know we're excited we're getting the you know all the bells and whistles and stuff added to it and then um, if things go right you'll be seeing this really really soon you know what I'm saying it's going to be a banger so if you think the ice cream stop is something you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Why don't you okay. go ahead and give everybody your handles? Yeah. Hey, you, you can, can catch me at, you. oh yeah, definitely. You can catch mm -hmm. me at, uh, on Instagram, official Ty Edwards. And, um, yeah, official Ty Edwards. And then, um, on, uh, Facebook, on Facebook, it's Ty the Tiger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, um, if, People wanna, you know, I have to ask this question. People like wanna audition and stuff, you know, hit, hit for your project. Yeah, well, well, you know what? You're gonna have to follow me because typically I keep all that stuff on my on my Instagram. You know, oh. I put the post. So if, if I'm shooting something, we shooting something hot, and we ask for you know for for specific types of talent, <laughs> okay. you know, what I'm saying you can you can find me there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got something for you though. Okay, for sure. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I heard but, you know, as before you go, I just uh -huh. want to thank you so much for well, thank you. Yes, thank you. We, we interviewed him back in December on this amazing short film that he did, and it was whew, yeah. just like Cherie said. I went, there, I was mad, I was crying, I was mm -hmm. so it's definitely a must see. Thank you. Um, but I do want, I have a gift for you. Uh oh, so all of my. Yes, get an on the same team. Oh man. Check and this you know out. we in a pandemic, so we you know we gotta have a mask. So. All right. Mask, so I, I, thank sure, you. I sure appreciate it. Last Let's thing I need is COVID. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I right. heard that. Yeah, my mom ain't gonna let me out. Like, she's serious about boy. Yeah. She, I didn't see my mother for two years because her husband or well, my dad, you know, uh -huh. her new husband, he was like, listen, I can't even see my own great kids. <laughs> He said, I can see my own grandkids. So guess what? I was like, okay. So finally, you know, we got double, you know, both the shots, mm -hmm. double booster. Mm -hmm. I was like, look, I did everything it is to do. He was right. like, come on. Uh, <laughs> here it is. I, I did Long say way. You could yeah. come and, and see your mom. It's nice to have her here with us. Yes, pleasure. absolutely. I want all of you to know at the age of 10 years old, and this is not scary. Mm -hmm. I saw destiny on that baby. Mm -hmm. I saw destiny in his eyes and his face. Aww. You shall know his name. Mm. You'll say his name. Yes. He is of greatness. Absolutely. Yeah. I saw it. I see it. It doesn't happen all the time. That's true. But when That's you come true. across it, you know it. Yes. <laughs> you know his nickname is you know it's Ty Edwards, but it's Ty the Tiger. Yeah. Edwards. So mm. you know I cannot let you leave without a <laughs> to, to, to <laughs> Got to do the ground. <coughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm here oh, on. on the scene, okay? Yeah, you put me on the spot, man. Now, usually I got to be worked up for it. I, I, I love that it. Was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. 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 That was good. Thank you again, Ty. No, I appreciate the love, y'all. And you know what? I just want to tell you to keep doing what you're doing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really, really doing it. You're beautiful facility. Yes. You got amazing staff. Mm, you know, it's just so good to see people with my. Mm. 
my 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 resemblance mm. taking the time to do things right yeah. you know and right. again you know yeah. small beginnings turn into bigger things I'm living proof. I tell her that all the time exactly. I'm living proof. but I'm exactly. you know we all are proud of you yes, I mean are, this yeah. what you you're giving us yeah. is really amazing you know our voices get heard our stories get it's told old. so yeah. thank you thank you thank you, you know, I started this this platform four years ago to give back to those that help me in this industry and just to highlight, we have so much dope talent here. Yes. Oh, yeah. So yeah. much. So yeah. much. Absolutely. And, yeah. you know, th- I started this platform to give people that exposure. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's been a blessing. Mm-hmm. Thank you, guys. No, thank you. Oh, made me cry. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thank you again for tuning in. Stay tuned. We still got another episode to go. All right. All right. Peace. Peace. See